Striker here, bringing you another Zer week for July 22nd. Now, we're going to be basically, just like last time, going over what he's selling and some of the benefits of some of the items that he's selling. So, alright. Let's hit to approach. And by the way, you can find him in the hangar at Earth. He just pretty much changed from one side of the tower to the other, so he's not very difficult to find at all. Alright, so the first item up today is no backup plans gauntlets. He has 280 defense, plus 58 on the strength, and then he has some pretty decent bonuses on these items. Shotgun kills trigger force barrier and force barrier's duration, which can be very helpful in tight situations. You have increased melee attack speed, and then increased reload speed for shotgun. So if you're running a shotgun class with this, this would really be perfect for that. Alright, and next we have the Radiant Dance Machines Leg Armor for Hunter class. Once again, 280 defense, plus 39 on the intellect, and plus 41 on the di discipline. And you can move more quickly while aiming your weapon. So, it can kind of help a little bit. Only problem with this is it's 280. Not really something I need, and plus I'm running a Titan class, so it's not really going to benefit me at all. Alright. So moving on, we have the Impossible Machines for the Warlock class with a 280 defense, plus 59 strength, and landfall. And of course, increased melee attack speed, increased reload speed with hand cannon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not something I'm going to pick up. It's a little low, and once again, I say I'm running Titan, so it's not really going to help me a whole lot. So I'm just going to skip over this one. Alright, next we have Dragon's Breath Rocket Launcher with a 280 attack. Uh, decent rate of fire. I mean, that's kind of basic rate of fire you'll see for most rocket launchers. The blast radius is pretty high. Uh, okay velocity and saveability. And the reload is pretty good. Uh, ex you can also expect to find more ammo for this weapon. And a kill with a final round in this magazine also increases your reload speed. So that's really helpful. Uh, then you also have release trigger after weapon and fire to drop a solar damage napalm canister. So uh, it's not something that I'm going to pick up this time. It's a little low for me. So, But if you guys are looking for a decent rocket launcher, I would suggest kind of picking this one up and giving it a shot. Alright, next we have the Legacy Ingram. Uh, he always usually has a Legacy Ingram at the very end. It costs you 31 strange coins, and that's nowhere near. I had two, actually, earlier, uh, but I spent it already. But uh, it's not something that I'm going to be able to pick up or even want to pick up because I don't know what it's going to be, and it could c turn out to be a little low. But on the plus side, you can use it to fuse with the weapon, which could really boost the weapon that you have already in your supply. Alright, so moving on down to the Curios, uh, nothing really changes here. You have the Emerald Coil, your self-drive, heavy ammo synth ah, synthesis, three of coins, and then glass needles. Uh, I have no interest in picking any of these up just yet. Maybe the heavy ammo synth synthesis if I get some strange coins, and then a mode of light. So that's going to be all. Uh, just make sure that you guys check this out before Sunday, the end of Sunday. And then he'll be gone for another week. And then we'll see where he appears next time. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button and comment down below what you think. And uh, make sure to subscribe to see more content every day. And like always, Viper Nation, I'll see you later. This is but one.